Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today's question, we're going to be looking at why did this happen? Any question. This is general, so this can be any question that pops into your mind. If you're confused about why something happened and you want to know why on a deeper level that this happened or you feel like you just need closure on something all i need you to do is choose one of these four piles feel free to pause the video here whilst you make your choice use your gut instinct and your intuition to lead you to the pile for you and once you've made your choice you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile Okay, so let's get straight to your reading. Okay, group one. Let's see, why did this happen? Okay. This feels like a situation where your world collapsed, that everything you worked so hard for came crashing down. Very heavy energy. And then it may be that you feel you wish you'd had the wisdom so you could have stopped this from happening. Maybe you've been beating yourself up about this. It could also have something to do with something unconventional or non-traditional. So something that's kind of, wow, well, very unique to you. Or this could be about receiving bad advice or giving bad advice. So let's see what else is coming through on this for you. Let's see, why did this happen? personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. You could have Cancer, Sun rising, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Venus, North or South node. But as Cancer rules the fourth house in astrology, this could have something to do with your home situation, your family. It could be something to do with your mother. Or if you are a mother, it could have something to do with your children here. But something that feels emotionally sensitive to you and it feels uncomfortable in some way. So it may have been something to do with moving out, losing a home. This could have been a breakup situation, a custody battle. It could be health in the home. Okay, so what else is coming through? The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. It could be that something came to light, something that was hidden for a while and like it all came out in a big explosion. So it may have been that someone was holding something in, bottling something up. But yeah, it feels like an eruption of some kind that was brewing. So it was like it was brewing for some time and then it all came to a head. work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So you could resonate with the sign of Scorpio as well. Scorpio represents endings, transformation, sex, death, rebirth, regeneration. Scorpio takes things to a deeper level. So I do feel like whatever you've gone through was very intense. I feel it was uncomfortable and it took you to quite a dark place. You may have been hiding away. Again, Scorpio is also about privacy and secrets, things that are mysterious, things that are below the surface. And in terms of why this happens, I feel like this is probably one of the most important messages that's coming through for you. Working through your fears. This may have been something that you feared the most. So it may be that the universe is trying to teach you something about you experiencing the things that you did fear in such a deep way and either realizing that you're strong enough to get through them, but also that maybe it's not as bad as you would think or that good things are going to emerge off the back of this transformation, this ending or this situation. three of pentacles in reverse, this could be that you didn't learn a lesson. So it may be something karmic that is happening here or that happened. 
that you needed to experience this, maybe to go back around in circles in a situation to realize that it's not working, that you didn't gel well together as a team or this situation just wasn't a right fit for you. So I do feel this is definitely something about teaching you. You are meant to be learning something big from this experience. And as I was shuffling, the devil in reverse flipped through. So this is about letting go of something that was toxic, something that was eating you up inside, something addictive, okay? There could have been an attachment here and then look what just fell out as well, the five of swords. So I feel like this is to do with giving up, giving up the fight on something. There could have been a competitive edge to this situation. There could have been multiple people involved in this situation. This can also point towards gossip. Gossip you were either actively involved in or gossip that you were the subject of. This can also be toxic thoughts as well. So being attached to negative thought cycles or being competitive with others or with a specific person. I am experiencing a little bit of toothache at this moment, so I don't know if someone is experiencing that um, or something to do with teeth or the dentist, uh, but that is also is Scorpio energy as well. Scorpio does rule the bones and the teeth, okay? Can also represent surgery of some kind, so if this is to do with surgery, quite possibly. It could be less literal in the form of real toothache, but when we experience toothache, it's, well, it could be a sharp acute pain, or it could be a dull ache that's been going on for some time, or it could be sensitivity as well. So this could be something about your own sensitivity to things. And I certainly am seeing more karmic energy come through here. We have the world card in reverse. So again, this is going back to like you've been going round in circles, having to go over something multiple times. And this may be in your current life, but this could also be past life energy, especially for those of you that have only been experienced this particular situation once. It could be that this is a life lesson for you. So this was divinely guided and it was meant to teach you something, something about your fears, something about going deeper. For some of you, it could have been guidance to move away from the superficial, again, to go deeper, to explore your emotions on a deeper level, or to investigate something. This may have led you on a new life path, career path, or relationship path. It just feels like there's something that you are going to be changing off the back of this. Okay, we've had one fly out there. What do we have? So, uh, four of cups in reverse. This is about seizing an opportunity. So taking an opportunity that comes your way. So this can be about patience as well, either that you needed more patience. So I feel like almost that there's an opportunity that's going to come your way then through this. Got another one today. They all just want to drop out for you today. The nine of wands reversed. So we do have lots of air here as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Card of Capricorn there, Card of Aquarius, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, there was something you were holding on to too tightly, okay? You may still be holding on to that. It depends which stage you're at with this situation. But I do feel like this is about you releasing something, seizing an opportunity that comes your way but not holding on to something or someone so tightly. And just, yeah, I just feel like this is about letting go, stopping the fighting, either fighting for a person or just fighting in general, fighting for something. And so I feel like this is also to do with teaching you about not holding on too tightly, about letting go. Yeah, I just feel like this is about you letting go, holding on to something. And again, it might have been this worry or the fears that you've had of thinking and holding on to your fears too much and then not acting upon things because of feeling too worried or too scared either about what other people will think or if you will fail. Or even being so afraid to lose someone 
that it then affects your life in a negative way because you're always worried about losing them and then it actually happened and you didn't know what to do with yourself. So this again comes back around to working through your fears, okay? The things that you feared the most and that you're gaining a lot of strength and resilience through this. You're not putting your focus and attention onto what could go wrong, but focusing more on what could go right. And this is definitely about learning a lesson and that's what I feel the universe wants you to do through this. I feel like the universe doesn't want you to repeat this cycle again. So I do feel like this is about repeating a cycle and that you need to find the strength within you to not repeat that cycle anymore and to let go, let go of the attachments that you've had or still have. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, so this is time for you now to ascend, especially if you feel like you've hit rock bottom because there's only one way up from the bottom. So that's always something at least to take from that when you're feeling in that low place. And also telling yourself that things will always change, whether for good or for bad, but that is life. It's in a constant state of change and flux. Again, more wanna jump out for you. So I don't know if this is your energy, that you're someone who's very impulsive or impatient and that you wanna be the first one there. So maybe a lot of Aries energy coming through, wanting to be first, wanting to be the best. And also, yeah, Aquarius as well. So maybe even feeling like being outside of the box, but also maybe feeling like you wanna take control. So maybe this is about, yeah, your own control and relinquishing control and not feeling like you have to micromanage every aspect of your life or of this particular situation. And then we have palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering. So for some of you, you may be waiting for a message or some information to come through about your situation. So if you have been wondering that and maybe you need the closure on that, I do feel like that's coming through for you. And I see you having a conversation with someone, whether that is over the phone or via text or email. I do feel there is something coming through about this in the future but I sense it's only going to come through once you let go and stop thinking about it and stop waiting for it to come through. And it'll come through in the moments that you're most distracted. Remember, a watched pot never boils. And then we do have ex uh, expansion and new phase and preparing for union. So I do feel as well that the reason this happened was that it's meant to bring you in connection with someone else. And whether that's in a romantic sense, in a sense of friendship with someone, or whether this is a business connection, but this is definitely meant to send you on a new journey, okay? It's meant to move you forwards, whatever this transformation is, or this ending was, this disruption that you felt, it is meant to push you, push you forwards in a way that you maybe couldn't have done if this hadn't have happened, okay? And I'm sensing that you're wanting to have that stability. And then I do feel you're going to get to the place where you do feel secure and safe and that you have that stability and the permanence and the growth because we have all that growth, expansion. So you are expand expanding. You are ascending to a higher level here of perspective. You are acquiring a lot more knowledge and there's been a huge soul growth through this experience. This could also be a test as well. Always remember that if this is a narcissistic codependent relationship, because the term hoovering is where that stems from in relationship context. It's when the narcissist will hoover in the codependent partner. So by sending lots of messages or flowers and gifts, you know, it also could be like love bombing in the beginning stages, but hoovering is more about, you know, hoovering you back in so whatever they can do to reel you back in so if that is the situation you may, may have been experiencing just be aware of that if that is the message you've been waiting for that 
you know, this could be a test from the universe here. Are you going to go back? Are you, are you going to allow yourself to be hoovered up? Or are you going to put up your defenses? So that's not going to be a possibility. Okay, whatever that is for you, I feel like that's something that you need to consider. But again, this could be for some of you that you need to go over this one more time. I do hope this resonates group one. And if it does, please let me know in the comments down below. And please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can check the description box below for the link to my Shopify where you can book a reading with me there. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Okay, group number two, let's have a look. Why did this happen? Okay, first two cards, we've got a lot of red here. We've got the base chakra. We've got recognition and reward in reverse. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that one. And then we've got the numbers three and then the number one. So this is definitely something to do with the physical matters. So whether this is health or finance, career or your home, something to do with your safety and security. Because this is about you feeling you're on shaky ground, that you don't feel safe in your situation. You don't feel grounded and you don't feel secure. And you may be feeling like you're not getting the recognition and reward that you deserve. You may be questioning your own self-worth and self-esteem and how you value yourself and how you value what you do. So let's see what else is coming through about why did this happen for you. Okay, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. You could resonate with Sagittarius and your sun, moon, rising, Mars, Venus, Mercury north or south node also pisces meditate and contemplate communication is key new moon in gemini we've got three of the mutable signs here so i feel like that has a, a role to play in this that either things are very changeable, maybe there's something happened unexpectedly. There's something very malleable about this situation. And for some of you, this could be about a business. If you started a business and maybe there's been a fluctuation in your income, okay? Or whatever's going on with your career or finances. Or again, if this is health related, it just feels like things are a little bit all over the place and there isn't that stability like there would be with, say, a fixed sign. If a fixed sign is in a strong position, you know, it feels safe, it feels secure, it's fixed, it's stuck there. But this just feels like, yeah, things are all over the place. So it may be that finances have been coming in dribs and drabs, or sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. I sense one of the reasons why this did happen, though, was to bring you into a place where you could meditate and contemplate, to think about things on a deeper level, maybe even to get into a present state. If you've been worrying about how things were in the past or worrying about the future, if you are worrying about the past or the future, this could be a sign for you to bring it back to the present moment. This may be why this happened, maybe to slow you down. Maybe you are moving too fast or working too hard. And if this is health related as well for some of you, it may be that you worked yourself to the bone and you didn't give yourself that rest and respite, the rejuvenation that you needed to be able to keep going. So something may have come to an abrupt stop. And it may be as well that you haven't voiced how you felt about this situation because you may have lost courage. And again, that self-esteem within yourself to feel like you are worthy of the attention, worthy of the recognition, worthy of the extra money or worthy of feeling good in your health. And you may have kept things quiet for some time because we've got communication is key. So this is something for you to learn here, I feel. This may have also brought you to connect with someone through this situation that you had to communicate how you felt or 
maybe you sought advice from someone you connected with someone off the back of this situation there's something to do with communicating and then we have luck is on your side new moon in sagittarius but this does feel like it's a bit of a strange one because it's not following suit with the first two cards whatsoever so luck is on your side so it may be that you happen to get into a very lucky situation again because of what's happened here it may have something to do with a sagittarius energy a sagittarius person it be that you end up teaching something whatever you've been experiencing here it's almost like that you will get out of this situation and you'll work through it and then you'll be able to guide people on how to get out of a similar situation it's like you'll have that experience and knowledge that you can help people so whether that's finding their self-esteem and their self-worth or even working on their finances even becoming a financial advisor or something or a health advisor as well if you're able to work through a health issue it may be that you're able to then help others work through their own issues what else is coming through for you Okay, this one jumped out. We've got the sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay, we'll come back to those in just a moment. Let's just have a look at the tarot. Why did this happen, group two? Seven of cups. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Ace of Cups. I am seeing a lot of pain here, a heartbreak, a loss a betrayal, a feeling of being stabbed in the back. But I'm seeing something to do with having more options here, that maybe the universe wanted to bring in new options, maybe either people or situations or opportunities that you couldn't see before you experienced this. It's like you needed to be enlightened to something, some truth or revelation needed to be exposed. So you could see that there are other options out there, okay? And it may have something to do with this Knight of Pentacles here. So this could be an Earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that you are meant to connect with. And you may have had to open up your heart to them. Definitely something to do with your emotions here, as well as the physical. I feel like something physical has happened off the back of something emotional for you, something that felt emotional or something that you needed to connect to in an emotional way. So you could engage your feelings and you know, even if that's experiencing the pain that you experienced, it's helped to transform you and for you to see that there are other ways of doing things or other people that you can surround yourself with. For some of you, you may have felt like the runner chasing after people and holding on to someone or something too tightly and you've not felt like you were the one being chased. Of course, it could be the other way around if you felt like you're the person that always runs away. And it says runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So whether this is your energy of feeling like you are the one that runs away okay, from a relationship, from a codependent relationship, 
because you don't engage your heart chakra. Okay, definitely something to do with the emotions here. Or if you feel like you are the one that is always giving, but it may be that you've been giving all of that love to people that don't appreciate it or people that don't deserve it. Okay, so it feels this sense of seeking validation elsewhere or like the grass is greener. Okay, so I do feel this is about releasing something here, Four of Pentacles in reverse, letting go of something that you are very attached to. And whether it's this person over here, this Knight of Pentacles, you either let go of this person if this was a new love experience. It may be that you didn't experience this type of love until you either met this person or if this was a work opportunity, maybe you didn't realize how much you could enjoy what you were doing or the person you were with until you did. So it may have been as well that this person ignited something within you that you needed to see. If you pushed all of your emotions down for a while, it may be that this person needed to come in to trigger something within you to experience some pain, but to experience the joy as well, to experience the abundance. So I'm seeing a lot of intensity here. So maybe things were quite up and down and when things were good, they were really good. And when things were bad, they were really bad. This also may be about being grateful for something, being grateful for how things are or that this person helped you to see that in some way. It also may have something to do with your spiritual side as well, maybe connecting to the metaphysical in a new way, <clears throat> getting into more of a dreamy and imaginative place. It may be that you've had some vivid dreams off the back of this situation. You could have gone through an awakening triggered by this situation. Wow, okay, two of cups in reverse. Six of Cups reversed. Whoa, Four of Wands reversed. That's pretty crazy, actually. Because this shows a separation, an emotional severance with someone that you cared very deeply for. This shows a celebration that didn't take place, that was cancelled or that failed. Okay, this can also show a divorce or a cancellation of a wedding or cancellation of a relationship or moving out if you were living with someone and it could be that moving out. And then we've got six of cups here reversed. And then I see here about reconciling, coming back together with someone. So if you did get back together with someone, but this can also show children. So if you have children or you had children with this person, if this is a person, it may be that was one of the main reasons that you were meant to be with this person because you were meant to bear their children. Regardless of how your connection, your relationship turned out, you were meant to have those children or maybe to work with children. It also may be about you coming back together with someone, whether it was this person here or whether you will now connect with someone else from your past that you were meant to be with, but this situation was blocking you and getting in the way. So to conclude here, I feel the reasons why this happened are you needed to feel grateful for something, help to enlighten you in a spiritual way, to get you into the present moment so you could see things more clearly, so you weren't dwelling on the past or the future so much, about bringing you to the present, but also reconnecting you with someone about coming back together with someone. Again, some of you, this could be children. So again, for some of you, this may have been children. But also to see that you have other options and to bring someone new into this situation. And also communication. It may be that you've had to communicate something. You had to voice something that you didn't want to say. Maybe you felt too afraid to speak up for yourself or to find that courage. So something about you standing up in your true self and speaking your truth, okay? And communicating and realizing that you could get a lot and so resolve this situation with open and honest communication. And to not chase those who are not willing to invest in you or to not run away from your feelings and emotions as soon as it gets a little deeper, okay? So whichever way around that resonates, take that. Okay, I do hope that this does resonate with you and if it does, please let me know down in the comments below. 
and please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can check the description box below for my Shopify link where you can book a reading with me over there. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Okay, group three. Let's see why did this happen? Okay, we've got temptation in reverse and then material harvest. We've got the number 15 and the number nine. So those numbers may bear some relevance with you. But this is about releasing something that was toxic to you, addictive, something you were unhealthily attached to. And then material harvest, this is abundant. This is abundant energy. So it may be that you had to release something so you could receive all of this abundance. So let's see what else is coming through for you. Okay, we've got the third chakra there, the solar plexus chakra and the number three. So this is about your confidence, your ego, it is also the store of your psychic gifts. It's also about self-control. So it may be that you found self-control or that you needed to experience this situation so you could find more self-control or that you were able to quiet the ego, okay? And listen to what your soul is saying. Let's see what else is coming through. You are good enough, a full moon in Virgo. You may resonate with the sign of Virgo and your sun, moon rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, north or south node. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Okay. So you are good enough is about your self-esteem, about you feeling worthy. So I do feel like this was about you finding your self-worth, building up your self-esteem and building up your confidence. It may be that something pretty fiery happened. You could have lost your temper. This could be an argument this is representing. But this could also be a new beginning for you. Something new that you started, a new business, a new relationship. But it definitely feels very intense. Okay, it's a fiery climax. So it may be that this situation isn't fully over yet. It may be that now you've come into your own. Or now that you are working through this and letting go of things that don't serve you. That something big is going to shift for you. So you might be feeling in a place where, okay, I've been putting in that work, but I'm not seeing any results yet. So if you are in that place, just know that things are about to be shaken up quite fiercely, I sense. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. So again, you may resonate with the signs of Cancer and Aries also. But this is about the home, about family, about the mother, your mother or children. Not that this is something that definitely triggered your emotional sensitivity and may have even triggered your protective instincts as well. So if you are a parent, okay, a mother or a father, or whether you are protecting even your parents, if you were the child protecting someone, it just feels, yeah, there is this something you felt like you needed to protect, protecting even your energy quite possibly. But something here that you wanted to have closure on, you, you want this to reach a resolution. And just know that that is within reach group three. And especially as you chose the number three as well, or the third pile, and we have the number three there too. This feels like unity and coming together. So if there have, have been arguments or volatility, it does feel like peace is on the way. Oh, okay, that was quick. They're all jumping out today. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini.
Okay. So this just confirms what's come through here. Seven of Wands reverse. So yeah, this is something where either you felt like you didn't have the confidence to speak up or to act, okay? With all of this wand energy, this is about taking action on something. So either you felt like you weren't taking action or maybe that someone else wasn't taking action that you needed them to take. And I see this energy of feeling very low, defeated, even betrayed, mentally just drained and exhausted here. So this may be where you're feeling now or this may be where you were, but then... I mean, look at the stark contrast of the Ten of Swords here and then the Nine of Wands. You know, this is like night and day. This is complete darkness and this is light. This is strength. Even though this is still feeling quite tired, a little drained from the situation, but this is nearing the top, okay? Nearing the end, if you like. If you're wondering, again, when this is going to end or when this is going to be completed in some way, it's, again, you're very close. It doesn't feel like it's quite over yet. Maybe that your part in this is over. Maybe someone else is taking over or it may be that there's one more step to take before this is finally over here. And over here, we've got some stress. We've got a lot of mental stress here. And then a sense of being needy, again, or holding on to someone. And this is a quite a codependent energy. And whether this is your energy or someone else's, it could be that someone is holding on to someone because of financial matters or because of their own insecurity, okay? Or this could be yours of holding on to a situation much longer than you should have, or this situation has gone on much longer than you wanted to or expected. Okay, what else is coming through about why did this happen? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Wow, oh yeah, addiction, codependent, obsession, we've got codependent twice there. And I just said that, didn't I as well, in that card, okay. So codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a, bla has a block, restraint. Yeah, so this is definitely something about breaking a cycle, something that was very negative and unhealthy. Unhealthy for you, unhealthy for someone else, unhealthy for you both. Whoever's involved in this situation, it just feels that it was continuing because of a codependency. And maybe it was both people. Maybe it was both people feeling they needed one another. So maybe someone ran away from the relationship or connection, didn't want to deal with it anymore, pushed their emotions down. Fear of intimacy, we're afraid of getting deep, okay? We're afraid of being vulnerable with you. But again, this could be your energy, so reverse it if it makes more sense. But this keeps narrowing back in on things that were unhealthy and addictive. So I do feel this is something about teaching you about yourself, about who you rely on, what you rely on, if this is about an external substance or you know something that you feel addicted to that you've been trying to release here. I feel like this is a lot about introspection and learning more about yourself, learning how to handle yourself in certain situations. It may be that you felt really grounded in a situation and then something happened that made you question you know, how grounded you are or how you handle a situation. We've got passion, it's insane chemistry, liking each other. Yeah, so it may be that this happens to ignite something within you. Maybe you were feeling really bored or restless, or maybe you needed something in this connection or situation to change. So it may have needed the match to light the fire. It almost feels like things were like burning embers for a while and it was almost kind of dying out, but then it's like you needed to zhuzh things back up and it's like someone's come along and just kind of blown on it and it's now become a big roaring fire, okay? It's like, I don't know, fighting fire with fire. Definitely a lot of fire coming through 
in this reading. So I don't know if this is something also that you are experiencing at the moment. And we do currently have Mars transiting the sign of Cancer. Mars is a sign of action, war, and Cancer is the sign of home and family. So it can be a time where things are a little bit more volatile at home or arguments can, arguments can be prone to happen, but also it's a wet sign. So it could be that there is more something to do with water at the home, or maybe it's raining more where you are at home. But it also represents the emotions, feeling emotionally sensitive at home. So maybe something to do with your emotional sensitivity. But I'm sensing more so this is about passion, about fire and about action. And it's almost like this situation happened so you could take action. Okay, so you could do something that's going to actually help to change the situation for, to what you want it to be or to bring this to some sort of resolution. Yes, abundance, keep a positive mindset and manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So I do feel, especially as we've got that material harvest right there in the center at the very beginning, that this is where you are headed and this is why this happened. You were meant to experience this and go through this, whatever this was, this losing of your confidence, this volatility, possibly arguments, codependent situation, addictions, this all is bringing you onto a path of amazing abundance that's coming towards you, okay? It may be that you learned how to manifest during this. If you really wanted to change a situation or you wanted something to come in or something to exit, it may be that you started manifesting or visualizing. Like all of this stuff happens to bring you to a place where you feel wealthy in every sense of the word. Also feeling grateful for where you are and what you have, especially if things felt really good before and then something came in and shook everything up. It may be about, do you know what? I thought things weren't good before, but actually that was a lot worse. So I should have been more grateful for where I was at the time. So something to do with gratitude as well and having a positive mindset. And maybe that's what's helped you to release whatever this negativity is, to focus on things going well, as you may have been in a place where you'd kind of given up on the positive thinking because you didn't feel it was getting you anywhere. So I do feel something about this situation is gonna reinforce that positive thinking and mindset within you that's going to help you to get to where you want to get to and finally close that chapter of your life. So I do hope that this resonates for you and if it does please let me know down in the comments below and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading you can check the description box below where you'll see the link to my Shopify and you can go over there to book a reading with me. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Okay, group number four. Let's see, why did this happen? Hmm, okay. This is showing some block in intuition. And whether this is your intuition or intuition about this particular situation, maybe you saw it coming, but you decided to ignore it. Maybe you were receiving signs, but you weren't listening to them. Or maybe you feel like you didn't receive any signs because there's such a block there. And it may be that you couldn't see or that you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. So maybe you lost hope in this situation. So let's take a look at what else is coming through as to why this happened. <laughs> Sorry, this one keeps coming out today. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer, so you may resonate with the sign of Cancer and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North or South node. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus, again you could resonate with the sign of Taurus. Or Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. I do feel this is giving some hope here in your reading today, group four, that things are going to move forward. So you may be waiting for things to change. You may be wanting a change to come to pass much quicker than it already is. And I'm feeling guided to let you know that it is coming. Okay, we've got two energies here of getting to the end of something. A personal issue reaches resolution. 
and the end of a tough cycle approaches. So yes, you are coming to the end of something here. So whatever has been really plaguing you right now, I feel like it's no longer going to be an issue for you. And we'll come back to that in a moment, but let's see what else is coming through first. Six of Wands, sorry, Six of Swords there in reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Four of Wands reversed, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Seven of Cups in reverse. It may be for some of you that you took action on something because you felt lonely, because you felt isolated, you got into a situation because you felt like you had no other choice, okay? Maybe you felt like you had a lack of options, so you chose that road because you felt like that's all you had. And then I see you thinking about the past, ruminating and going over something over and over again, like a stuck record almost. And it's been causing a lot of mental anguish for you. For some of you, this could be a marriage split up, a partnership split up. If you were living with someone, even a roommate, it could be that that has come to an end. It could have been a celebration that had been planned, a party or an event that has come to a stop here. And this may be why you're thinking and thinking why why was this cancelled or why did this end or why do I feel so alone or why did this happen why did I deserve this these all may be all questions that are going through your mind at this time but let's see what else is coming through why did this happen group four Temperance in reverse, card of Sagittarius. Justice reversed, Libra. Two of Cups. I sense things were not fair or balanced in your situation. And you may be feeling that way. Again, that this isn't fair, this... This shouldn't have worked out that way. Why did this happen? Again, I didn't deserve. This is what I just keep hearing for some of you. Something wasn't being done in moder moderation here. Okay, there was something either being overdone or underdone. But it feels like things were not working in perfect equilibrium. It, things were all over the place, it seemed. Libra, as you can see there with the scales, I know it's in reverse, but let's take a look at it in the upright. See, when you're holding it the right way up and it's equally balanced, okay, because it's got the equal amount on each side, it's balanced there, okay? But when it goes into over or under balance, if one side becomes heavier, then it tips. And it's very much the same energy with the temperance card here, and particularly in this imagery here okay because we've got those four balls on this side that small four small balls and then the one large ball on the other side and again see how it keeps it balanced because they most likely weigh the same but again being in reverse no balance there in this situation so for some reason this is telling you this happened because it wasn't fair it wasn't balanced so whether you were giving more to a situation or giving less but then need, it needed to level out. In terms of why this happened, it may be that you were meant to be brought to, in connection with this person here. This is reciprocal love and it's a totally different energy to the rest of the reading. So I almost feel like this could be what's coming for you in the future, like that you were meant to connect with someone or whether this is a romantic relationship or a friendship or a job, career, a new hobby, or something that you really enjoy that you didn't expect to enjoy. But because this situation happened, it allowed you to come into connection with this person or situation here. 
okay? So this has all been working in divine timing for you. We're meant to go through some of these hard times and loneliness and this lack of balance. So you could find that real connection here. And now coming back to your dreams need a practical plan. So it may be that your third eye could have been overactive and maybe you were focusing too much on divination potentially to help you make dis decisions or choices. Like you were concentrating too much on signs and not actually putting in the physical work to get what you needed to get, okay, or to achieve what you want to achieve. So again, maybe striking that balance with putting in the practical effort with things or practical effort with people or having someone that treats you in that way in the practical sense that they need to be putting in the effort and time with you so it's like there's maybe been a very strong spiritual connection or emotional connection with someone this may be what you're feeling right now about a specific person that you connect on a soul to soul level but in terms of practicality there needs to be more. There needs to be a plan. There needs to be something in place here. Let's see what else is coming through for you on this. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. The chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So for some of you, you may have been dealing with some enemies, hidden or otherwise. Something looking over your shoulder, so I don't know if there was an argument or a conflict or some jealousy, social media stalking, because I feel like with camera and there's looking at pictures... This could be you looking back at old photos in a positive way, but it could also be looking at present photos or even old photos, but in a negative way and being worried about something or feeling badly about something here. We've got the other woman. So for some of you, this could have been a third party situation, whether you were the other woman or there was another woman involved in your connection here that there was a woman that was just interfering in your work okay someone that was jealous of what you were doing okay i'm just feeling there's definitely envy coming through in this reading like someone or more than one person being envious of you okay we have more of that chaser codependency here so this may be about teaching you something about chasing others so if you are the chaser and you are chasing someone that doesn't want to be chased or doesn't want to be caught, should I, should I say. It may be that you are chasing someone that doesn't want to be caught, okay, that likes the chase, that likes being chased but doesn't want to be caught and then settle down, okay. This could be your energy as well. You could be the one that's being chased, okay. You may not be dealing with your intimacy and emotional things on that level, um, but I do feel more so it could be the other way around, almost, again, stemming from a place of loneliness and isolation and just feeling like I would just rather have someone than no one, okay? Someone may be feeling that way, but I sense there's a craving for the stability and to feel secure, secure in your connection, secure in your home or secure in your job and feel like you have the opportunity to expand upon this particular situation, connection, relationship, whatever this may be for you. This could be about holidays as well. Maybe you went on holiday with someone where they had palm trees and you've been thinking about that or looking at those photos, you know, reminiscing because again, this is coming back to thinking about the past, going over things over and over again. So I do feel like this is 
teaching you to let go of the past a little bit more, to think more presently, but ultimately to find more balance, okay? Because that's something that is missing. And remember, only invest in someone what they are investing in you. And that's something really simple that you can stick to and remember. I'm not saying it's something that's easy to accept, of course, but it does make things a lot easier, okay? If you know you've been putting in that effort and you know if you have, you don't need me to tell you that. You know if there's been an imbalance and if you've been putting in more effort, then pull it back unless you see the reciprocal effort and investment coming from them. And that's crazy as I was saying that, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is about, I feel like all talk, no action. Saying I'm gonna do this, but not actually doing it, not following through. So it may be that you've been attracted to these types of people that are unavailable or not giving you their time. They're putting their focus and attention into other things, maybe even work, being work obsessed, okay? Or being inconsistent in giving you that time. And that's caused you to want to chase them more and more. So <clears throat> I do feel, excuse me, now my voice is going, <clears throat> there may be something going on, <clears throat> excuse me, with your throat chakra, whether you're experiencing something physically in that way, or this is about you being open and honest <clears throat> with yourself and with others around you. But I feel this is more about being honest with you, like being truly honest. Again, coming back to that, invest what they are investing. So it may be that you need to give yourself a stern talking to at times and say, look, I'm doing all this, but I'm not getting anything back. Maybe it's time that I stop putting in that work and allow them to come towards me, but I'm gonna be okay whether they do or they don't. Five of, <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, five of pentacles in reverse here. Wow, yes, queen of wands. So the reason this has happened, group four, is because you needed to let go of rejection, fear of rejection, fear of being left out in the cold, fear of being alone, okay? It may be that you've now started to thrive by being on your own, maybe taking some time out from dating or date, taking time out from relationships altogether. Okay, maybe you've had a long break or maybe that's something that you feel like you need to do now is to just take a break away from relationships or whatever this situation that's been causing you to feel this way, to remove yourself from this and to find your strength and confidence and your passion in yourself again and feeling that way regardless whether you are with someone or without someone and not letting the rejection get to you anymore okay releasing the negative thought cycles of where you've been and how things were and starting to move forwards and yeah this is you taking action so not sitting idly by watching the world go by and observing this is you now taking the action. And this is you getting in a place of feeling courageous and standing up for yourself and your self-worth and feeling like I know what I deserve and I know I deserve more than what this person or situation is giving me. So I'm now gonna move on. I'm glowing up, I'm leveling up and I'm leaving all this in the past. So as you can see as well, we've got all of these blues and purples and greens, all of these very cold colors, okay, on the co color scales, they're cold colors. So this is like the first heat and fire that I'm seeing come through in this entire reading now, okay? I mean, we had light there, but reversed. So everything just felt very dark and wet and emotional and sensitive and obsessive thought-wise. So now it's like a breath of fresh air for you. Okay, this happened so you could find the real you and feel strong and powerful again. Maybe even you've never felt that powerful before. It may be that you've suddenly bloomed and you're leaving the old insecurities in the past and you're moving forwards in this boss-like energy. Like you're, you are in like large and in charge. <laughs> it's just what I heard. Okay, so I do hope that this resonates for you and if it does, please let me know down in the comments below and please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can check the description box below where you'll find the link to my Shopify. So just click on that, go over there and you can book a reading with me. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.